and welcome to Tangram YouTube channel. My name is Sun Ke Ting. I'm a composer and part of Tangram Artist Collective. Tangram is made up of composers and performers of Chinese and Western instruments, catalyzing transnational imagination and celebrating the vitality of Chinese cultures. And today we're very excited to launch Tangram Voices, a brand new concert series featuring solo and duet performances of contemporary classical, Chinese, folk and pop music. And in today's launch concert you will see performances from percussionist Bei Bei Wang, flautist Daniel Xiao, pianist Naomi Wu and Yang Ting Raylan Yang. And they will each perform 10 minutes of solo works including world premieres by Jasmine Kent Rochman, Raymond Yu, Bei Bei Wang and Raylan Yang and also works from Alex Ho and myself. And today's concert is also fundraising for the Black and African Solidarity Show. We'll be donating all proceeds to this amazing group of artists. And at the end of the concert, you will see a short performance by the members of this amazing group. And during the concert, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the sidebar and one of us will respond as soon as we can. I really hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and supporting Tangram. Hello everyone, this is the percussionist Bebe from Tangram. Thank you very much for joining us today. I am so excited to premiere two new pieces. One is from my good friend, wonderful composer Jasmine Kent Rogeman. The piece is called Chroma 2020, inspired by deep sea bioluminescent creatures and chromatography. Feels a little alien, but packed with energy and vibrancy. The other piece is from myself called Before the Flood, uh, which was inspired by the beautiful poetry from Dijon McKinney. Uh, I met uh, Dijon two years ago when I saw his performance uh, and, and his poem. Um, I was totally uh, blown away. So we decided to uh, make new music together. I feel so grateful to be able to share music with you and I hope you enjoy it. Looking forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you very much.
beginning, there is fear. But you adapt. And in that process, you find a funny kind of freedom. I mean, you get to do the things you've always wanted to do, live out fantasies like like to steal a car or, or burn down a building or I don't know. Whatever. Nobody cares anymore. Hunting in the shadows for days at times. Nights at others. Other than times they hunt us, we hunt them. Hunt them down, hang them up sometimes. Sometimes we hang with them. Used to break bread over broken bodies under cement. Underneath kingdoms of false realism, pseudo-realists, realizing the futility of the hunt. And we still hunt. Our shadows, ourselves, our shadows, hours, hours pass by until our skin is restless with discontent and the flesh tears to reveal truth. Hunting in the daylight for shadow, for moon and the sunshine, we need a star, not to guide, but to give, to grant, to gold or gild us something from someone, some house, somewhere, nowhere feels safe anymore. Sometimes, revolutions don't look like revolutions. The morning before the flood, I woke to water lapping at my fifth floor bedside. Terrified and in disbelief, I froze, sweating through my sheets, knowing that I was trapped, realizing that sometimes revolutions look like nightmares like foaming jaws and pointed teeth snapping at your heels, closing the distance faster than you can process sound. You see, sometimes revolutions don't look like revolutions, don't look like revolutions, don't look like revolutions, look like nightmares sometimes, like foaming jaws and pointed teeth snapping at your heels faster than you can process sound. Faster than you can process sound. Process sound. Process sound.
The morning before the flood, I woke to water lapping at my fifth floor bedside. It was all a blur. But that was a dream. This is not. In the beginning, there is fear. But we adapted. Did the things we always wanted to do. Lived out fantasies. There were no barriers anymore. Nobody cared. We found out that there was nobody left to care. At first, we still believed things would go back to normal, but, but after a while, the darkness didn't disappear. And there was no running from it. Sooner or later, it catches us all in its grip is, well, its grip is, that's when we started to do the things we never thought we were capable of doing. And now all that's left is nothing. There was no you anymore. There was no you. There was no me. No us. Nothing survived. Nothing. Hi everyone, and welcome to Tangram's Voices series. My name is Dan Shao, I'm a flute player with Tangram. The repertoire I've chosen by Telemann, Chen Yi, and Debussy ranges from a wide range of historical eras, but I feel that all the pieces share a common feeling of the elegiac and mournful, which I identify with at the moment, as sadly our music industry is in such a bad state. The Chen Yi was written to memorialize the death of one of her teachers, and to demonstrate her pain. And Debussy was given the suggestion by his playwright friend, Gabriel Moret, to imagine Pan taking his last breath in Serang. The writing in the Telemann is more active, but also has a mood of yearning and longing. I will also play a bit of Mining Perceptions by Alex Ho from 2018, which was part of a larger collaboration between himself and the glass sculptor, Sally Fawkes. Please enjoy. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'd like to start by acknowledging that I'm recording this performance today in my home, which is on the traditional land of the Anishinaabe, Cree, and Dakota people, the homeland of the Métis Nation, and Treaty 1 territory. From my window, I can see the Forks, which is the meeting point of the Assiniboine and Red River, and has been a traditional meeting place for the original inhabitants of this land for thousands and thousands of years. I'm very grateful to be a settler on this land. I'm a settler of Anglo-Saxon and Chinese descent, and today I have a piece for you by another Chinese-Canadian composer. Her name is Alexina Louis. She's one of Canada's most often performed composers, and I have been playing her music since I was a teenager. So it feels especially fitting to be playing a piece called Distant Memories. Another piece I have for you is by Rocky Cutting Sun. She's a fellow member of Tangram, and this piece is also about memory. It's called Forget Me Not, and is a brand new miniature that was composed from her home during lockdown in London. Now, her piece is also about a Forget Me Not flower from her garden. So to tie this bouquet together, I'm also including Nathaniel Dett's Magnolia. Nathaniel Dett was also born in Canada in the late 19th century, and in 1912 he recorded Magnolia on a piano roll. He's thought to be the first black pianist to make a piano roll. So I hope you enjoy this bouquet of memories from my home. Thanks for listening.
Hi, my name's Raylan. I'm co-director of Tangram, and I play the Yangqin. Amidst the chaos and stillness of the world, many of us have found ourselves turning inward. I've been taking this time to reflect on my connection to myself and my connection to others. The music I'll be playing today explores the balance between these two relationships. Aloe's Wood, composed by Raymond Yu for this occasion, is inspired by the writings of Eileen Chang and traditional music on the guqin, the oldest of the Chinese instruments. Named after a kind of incense, this piece is a meditation prompting introspection. The second piece is a song I wrote called Night and Day about distance in relationships. For today's premiere, I chose to make the most of our digital medium and weave into the performance an audiovisual layer made up of random videos contributed by artists and audience members. Through this collaborative improvisation of sorts, the song becomes a frame for a window into the lives of specific people here with us today. I did this to acknowledge the way we are all connecting to each other in this moment through attention. Today's performance, while virtual, is a gathering of sorts, bringing together a unique community of people. The web of relationships we share is a crucial texture of the creative process that culminated in today's performance. So thank you for being here, where you are, with us today. And I hope you enjoy these two world premieres. Sometimes
some time Sometimes 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 It's not easy to love. Sometimes it's not. Not easy to love, to love you. You are the day I am the night. At dusk I chase your light for you. the world we run looking for the other side time veils distance in our duet it's not a matter of whether or why I love It comes down to the question of how, how to, to do this. How do we put this theory into practice? How do we turn this feeling into action? Shouldn't loving one another be somewhat simpler than this? Loving someone's easier said than done. day I am the night. At dusk I chase your light for you forget. Around the world we run looking for the other side. Time unveils distance in our duet. At dawn you erase yourself while I arise Around the world we run looking for another way Time unveils difference in our designs It's not a matter of Gravity, we're
everybody and love, love. sometimes just isn't enough but I'll try again if you try and if I try will you try Thank you so much for listening. I just wanted to take a moment to talk briefly about the motivation behind today's performance. In addition to launching our exciting concert series, Tangram Voices, today is a fundraiser for the Black and African Solidarity Show, a wonderful platform and artist collective that elevates the voices of rising Black creators. Um, we wanted to partner with them because we believe that we share a wider vision for building transcultural futures. As Rocky mentioned at the beginning, Tangram's mission is to catalyze transnational imagination and celebrate the vitality of Chinese cultures. And we know that this mission, this movement, would not be possible without the historical movement spearheaded by Black and Indigenous people resisting white supremacy. So we want to express wholeheartedly our solidarity with Black and Indigenous communities across the world. And this is just one small way that we decided to help out um, in response to the recent attention around um, these fights for racial justice. So um, I'm really lucky to be friends with Craig Stevens, who is co-director of BASE. And... Um, we just had some amazing conversations when we first met about diasporic identity, about rootedness in the era of globalization, about community building, and I'm very pleased to introduce him to talk a little bit about uh, BASE, and um, I just want to say thank you to BASE for working with us today, and thank you to anyone who's donated. We've, we've raised a lot of funds already, and if you haven't had a chance to make a donation, there's a link um, in the description below. And we hope that you can join us in supporting BASE. Without further ado, here's Craig. Greetings, everybody. My name is Craig. I am co-founder and co-director of BASE, the Black and African Solidarity Show. We really hope that you're enjoying the Tangram Voices online launch concert. It's really a blessing for us to be here on this platform collaborating with an organization that we feel are siblings in a similar mission. At BASE, we love to use our art as a means to start dialogue around Black identity and African heritage. As a group of activists, artists, and academics, we love using our creative process as a means to connect with our roots, to reroute ourselves in our heritage. And we believe that Tangram is on a similar mission and we're really excited to be able to stand in solidarity with organizations such as Tangram around something like joy, around something like our, our, our processes, our daily practices that bring us happiness into this existence. And it's really gonna take a horizontal team of collaboration to start to construct the world in which we believe and belong in. So we're really grateful to be here. We're grateful to have your attention and thank you for listening. Um, I'd like to introduce you to another member of the BASE team. She's been involved with us since the beginning, and she does A&R for our events, but she's also an amazing singer and songwriter. Her name is Shimani Briscoe, and she has a song that she would love to share with you all today. So, without much more waiting, I would like to introduce you all to Shimani Briscoe. Hi, my name is Shimani, and this is my song, Affirmation. Me, myself, and I 
Looking left and right, no faces in sight. I'm at the starting line. Leaving my past behind, I'm at my prime. This is my life, won't give up without a fight. Bye bye to the little girl. Hello, this is Alex Ho, and on behalf of Tangram, I'd like to say a huge, huge thank you for coming and joining us today. We really do hope that you enjoyed the concert and it was a joy performing them for you, particularly premieres by Raylan, Bebe Wang, Raymond Yu, and Jasmine Ken Rodman. We'll be heading over to Instagram Live immediately after this event, so please do join us if you have any questions. We'll be talking a little bit more about what we do and why we do it. And of course, we'd love to answer any questions that you may have. Our Instagram account is Tangram Sound. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to Bass, whose work is incredibly important, and to Chamonix, who performed so wonderfully just then. This concert is a fundraiser for Bass and all the important work that they do. And many thanks to all of you who have already donated to them. 
If you would like to donate and haven't done so already, you can find a link in the description box below. Lastly, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a like or a follow on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. As I say, our handle is Tangram Sound and we have some very exciting plans that we would love to share with you in the very near future. Thank you very much and wishing you a lovely evening.